Hey everyone, how you doing today? My name is Noshi and today my garage is pretty much empty. I have no cars here but my 335, 7 Series and the 128. The 335XI is gone so I'm happy about that. Uh, everything's running good on it. But the focus is pretty much going to be on my 1, not my 1 Series, but my 335i single turbo. So the problem with that is I was driving it the other day and all of a sudden my TPM system went off and said hey you have a flat tire so when you're driving a lowered car and you see it says flat tire you're like oh man oh oh jeez oh triple h calls the right truck and makes sure it's a flatbed not like one of them little rinky dink short ones so i went ahead and uh pulled over i'm like looking 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 and i don't see anything wrong with the suspension or anything like that well not wrong with suspension but the tire itself i went ahead checked it brought it home jacked it up everything i'm like oh man my front driver's side shock has blown. Even the rear one is also blown too. So I guess because it's just me, I usually, usually just me just driving in the car all the way on one side or whatever. I don't know what the problem is, but my shocks are pretty much blown. So it's blown so bad that it made, it triggered the TPM sensor. So the way the TPM works, and I didn't say TPMS, is TPMs on the 07 through 35s. And pretty much a TPM is on the shock body of the car itself. So it's not in the wheels, so I can always switch wheels or whatever, and I don't have to worry about a TPM sensor, uh, error message, or anything like that. All right, so looking at the car right now, right here in the rear, it has too much sag. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and switch out the suspension. But this is where you come in. I'm wondering, should I go with coilover setup, as I've always done all the time. So I've came from... Uh, functioning forms, ST coilovers, which is pretty much similar to the KWs, and they rode beautifully. I love those things. The only thing they don't have is the top shock tower adjustment for the camber and all that good stuff. So that's the one reason I didn't want to run those again, but then again, I could always buy upgraded top hats and switch them over. But I went ahead with the BC Racing BRs that I currently have right now. So I'm wondering if I should stay with the coilovers or should I go? To air suspension. If you only knew the power of the dark side. So bags have gotten a bad rap for a long time, but of recent, actually not recent, but last couple of years, there have been leaps and bounds in the development of bags. And I'm thinking more and more that I might just take the plunge and go over to the back side. I need to do some more research, but pretty much the main point of this video is like, man, what should I do? Should I stick with coilovers or should I go ahead and go with an air suspension setup? Uh, let me know in the comments or if anybody who's running any of these particular kind of brands that they like or how they ride or how they feel and stuff like that. I'll be doing my research on my end also. So thanks for viewing. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.